Hi, I'm Mindy Raymond Benson, and welcome to my Supreme Ab Blast. All right, this workout is specifically designed to work your core. Now, I keep it moving, but at any time, if you need a break, please take one and join me when you're ready. So, a great pose to rest in is child's pose. You're gonna draw your knees out as wide as the mat, and just sit your hips back to your heels, and just allow your head to rest on the floor here. So again, you can rest in child's pose at any time, and then join me back when you're ready. So you're gonna make sure that the tower is set to the highest point. We wanna have our sculpting bar attached and make sure that your flex straps are nearby. We'll be using those later. If you have any low back issues, you can use our half round here and put it underneath your back. This just gives an added support. So it's completely up to you if you'd like to use that or not. It's there for you. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start basing the tower. You're gonna press your feet into the tower Either keep your knees bent or you can straighten the legs. It's really your choice. Modification is you're gonna have your knees bent. You're gonna have an overhand grip on the sculpting bar. Draw your shoulders back. You kinda wanna find that nice point right on the sits bones. And from here, we're gonna move into abdominal roll down. So just warming up the abs. You're gonna lower down, take it all the way down and then lift. Keep the chin nice and neutral. So exhale on the way down, keep the shoulders soft, and lift. Again, we're warming up the core. If at any time you want to straighten those legs out, you can. Completely your choice. You want to just lengthen the spine down and lift. Keep drawing the belly back towards the spine. All right, we got three more here, you guys. Slowly lower and lift. Here's two, soften the shoulders down and lift. Last one, we're gonna lower down and hold here for just a moment. Draw the belly in, soften the shoulders down, gaze towards the center line of your body here, breathe. And then slowly roll back up. All right, around the world. So you're gonna take your left hand to the middle of the sculpting bar. Right hand is gonna be free because we're gonna sweep it around the body. So you're gonna lower down towards the right side of the mat, straighten out the legs, bring the arm up and overhead and then exhale, come up. Switch the arm out. So right arm now is in the center. You're gonna lower down to the left, sweep around and come back to center. Okay, so now we'll take it to breath. Inhale on the way up and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So we're alternating sides, working your obliques, definitely feeling it in your side abdominals. Take it all the way down, stretch the body out, nice big stretch, and up. Lower around the world, and back up. Good, a couple more here, you guys. Nice big movements. Keep hugging the belly back towards your spine. Breathe, lift, we got one more each side. Inhale to lift, and exhale. All right, nice work, Whew. Definitely feeling it. We're gonna switch around <clears throat> so that the head is facing the tower. You're gonna lay on your back here. You wanna make sure that you have the flex straps nearby as we move into singles. So modification, your knees are gonna stay bent the whole time and you wanna keep your knees stacked over your hips. You're gonna grab onto the bar, get in that nice overhand grip, soften the shoulders onto the mat, really hug your belly back towards the spine Take an inhale, and on the exhale, you're gonna bring the bar to the legs. Inhale. Shh. This is the modification. Shh. You wanna come with me into full expression? Let's do that here in the next one. Lift. Good. Shh. And squeeze. Feeling those muscles. Squeeze. Bar to legs. Shh. Focus on the breath, keep drawing the belly back towards the spine. Lift. Here we are, four. Here's three. Woo, here's two. And one, slowly release. Let's go ahead and hug those knees in, give yourself a squeeze. Draw the knees into the chest, helping release your hips. Soften the shoulders down. Nice, okay, let's switch the bar. So we're gonna switch it out for the flex straps. <clears throat> a 
Okay, now that you have the flex straps attached, we're gonna lay back on the back. Lay on our back, head facing the tower. You're gonna allow those flex straps to come into the arch of the foot. Good, we're gonna bring the legs up. Pilates V, so the heels are gonna come in, the toes are gonna open up. And we're just gonna move into some basic sit-ups here. So feather touch the hands behind the head. Legs are strong, you're zipping up those inner thighs. Press your belly back into the spine, and then lift. Shh, shh. So elbows are wide. You wanna gaze up towards the ceiling and keep those elbows nice and wide so you shouldn't be able to see them in your peripheral vision. Lift, shh, shh. Force that air out of the lungs. Legs are strong. Here's 10. Shh, shh, shh. Halfway there. Here's four, three, two. We're gonna lift and hold, lift and hold. Shoulders off the mat. Lift, maybe even extend the arms out in front of you. Breathe here for three. Lift for two and take it down for one. <sighs> All right. We're gonna release the flex straps from the feet. And now you're gonna hold onto them with your hands. So this move is called hundreds. This is a traditional Pilates move, hundreds. The breath is very specific. So you're gonna take an inhale through the nose and it's a five count exhale. So it sounds like this, you'll inhale. Okay, so that's the breath. Now I'm gonna be doing the breath with you so I won't be cueing during this uh, particular exercise, but I'll definitely be counting us down. So as the name implies, we're gonna do 100 of them. They're pretty intense, so let's get into it. You're gonna again lower your body down, hug your belly in, grab onto those flex straps, soften the shoulders down. Modification, the knees are gonna stay bent. You're gonna come with me, we're gonna do that full expression, Pilates V, legs are extended. So either option here. Okay, everyone take a nice deep breath in, and let's begin. Halfway. knees in, release your hips, chin to chest, draw your shoulders down, give yourself a big squeeze. Oh, that feels good. Working the entire abdominals there in that one. So okay, let's reconnect the foot straps in the flex, or the feet in the flex straps. We're gonna just open up through our hips, start to work some lower abdominals here <clears throat> as we get into leg circles. So the heels are gonna start in together. I like to place my hand just above me. It's nice and relaxed here. The upper body is pressing down into the mat. Again, you want to keep your gaze up. So you're going to slowly lower down and then exhale. Open up those legs. Nice, big, wide circles. So you're pressing your low back into the mat. Keep flexing your feet. The smaller the circle, that's the modification. So if you want more of that workout, you're gonna take these nice big circles. Okay, we have three more here in this direction. Here's two. Open up through the hips, last one. Now let's switch directions. All right. Draw the heels in and up. Big, huge circles here, you guys. Should feel really nice in the hips. But again, we want to focus on the abs, so keep drawing the abdominals back towards your spine. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Feel it in the glutes, too. I definitely do. Here's two. Okay, last one. Bring it up. We're going to go ahead and release those foot straps. We're going to use the pull-through bar for our teaser. This next one, again, is a traditional Pilates move. So the modification is you're gonna keep your knees bent. So I'm gonna have 
pull through bar in front of me. Hands are about shoulder width apart. We wanna glue that belly back down to the mat. You're gonna keep your knees bent for that modification. Draw the pull through bar down, take an inhale, and exhale, lift. This is the modification. Exhale, lift. If you wanna go with me into full expression, we're gonna lift those legs. And down, embrace the quake here. Your muscles might be shaken. That's good, it means they're working. Lift. So gaze up towards the ceiling, lift. Here we are, you guys, here's five. Take it down. Here's four. And down. Almost there. Three. Down. Here's last two. Good. Last one. We're going to lift and hold. Lift and hold. Breathe. I know you feel it. Breathe here. Three, two, and one. Oh, that felt awesome. Slowly lower down. Draw your knees in just real quick. Just give yourself a squeeze again to release those hips. Okay, let's go ahead and come up. We're gonna stand on our knees about hip width distance as we move into a kneeling crunch. So knees are gonna be right underneath your hips. If you need to measure, it's about two fists in between the knees. We're gonna use the pull through bar. Again, hands are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna inhale, draw the shoulders back, lengthen up, stretch. Exhale, chin to chest. You're gonna round it all the way down. Hug the belly in and stretch. Slowly come up, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. You really wanna focus on pulling the belly back towards the spine as you exhale and round down. We have two more here. Round it down. Lifts. Last one, we're gonna take it down and hold. Hug the belly in. Breathe here, stretch. And release, slowly roll up. You can come back just a little bit further as we move into a quad stretch. So we're holding onto the pull through bar. You're gonna just start to lean back. So make that adjustment in the knees as you need to as far as um, bringing it closer to the tower and lean back, soften the shoulders, lift through the chest here. You wanna feel a big stretch along your hips and your quadriceps. So as much as we love to work out and it's really good for our body, we need to stretch it out too. So it's always good for those muscles to get a deep stretch at the end. We take an inhale, shoulders are soft, lift through the chest, exhale, just breathe right into it. One more inhale and exhale. Okay, right into child's pose. So you're pulling, using that pull through bar, we're gonna stretch it out. Rest the head onto the floor, or onto the mat. Feel a good release along the hips and glutes, releasing your abs. And then from here, just allow the belly to come all the way onto the mat. Now you're gonna press your toes into the floor. You're gonna use the pull through bar as we move through locust pose. We do this a lot in our yoga class. So Purna Salabhasana here. We're gonna lift everything up, working and stretching the opposite side. So we're strengthening your thoracic part of your back, getting a good stretch. So go ahead and just exhale here. And then inhale, lift the legs and pull through that pull through bar on the opposite side. So you're lifting, shoulders are coming down your back. Feel that good stretch. Everyone lift another inch, hold, and take it down. All right, let's do it again. Inhale, lift, and take it down. Three more here, you guys. Lift, and down. Here's two. Focus on that middle part of your back, so we're getting a good stretch. Opposite side of the abs. Lift through the core, lift and hold, breathe, and take it down. Okay, come up to a comfortable seated position. Cross your legs if you like, open up your hands here. Sit up nice and tall in the spine. Lengthen the crown of the head. If you'd like to close your eyes here, you can. Let's just take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then an open mouth exhale. 
you can pull in the belly in. Inhale, lengthen, expand and stretch. Exhale, soften the body. One more deep, full breath in. And exhale. Okay, hands up, heart center. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste.